Our cosmic home is continuously moving. It has long been understood that this holds true for the entire cosmos as well as the various structures of space. The universe is expanding with every second that passes. The cosmos does not, however, enlarge into an existing space in this way. Instead, the space itself is expanding constantly. This insight emerged from the observation of the so-called galaxy escape in the first part of the 20th century. This implies that in the future, gravitationally bound clusters of very distant stars will continue to migrate further and further away from us. However, this rule does not hold true for the clustered star worlds that are virtually at our feet. In fact, on the contrary, we are already headed straight for the Andromeda galaxy. In today's video, we'll outline the expected timing of the two galaxies collision as well as any associated repercussions. Want to regularly learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and unique sights of the cosmos? To keep informed, don't forget to click the bell and subscribe by giving us a thumbs up going forward, you're encouraging us and demonstrating that you can remain interested in the information in our videos. Andromeda Galaxy No other collection of stars reaches as close to our local Milky Way as the Andromeda Galaxy. Located in the eponymous constellation Andromeda the distance between us and the spiral galaxy is about 2-5 million light years. Andromeda is the farthest structure in the firmament that, under ideal circumstances, may be viewed with the unaided eye as a result of this spatial constellation. A detailed examination of the circumstances in our neighboring galaxy reveals that the Milky Way and Andromeda have several characteristics in common. This applies to both the spiral structure and any celestial objects that might vort within an assemblage that is gravitationally bound. The Andromeda Galaxy, often known as M31 for short, occasionally sports dark dust regions where brand new stars are continuously forming. Numerous globular clusters can be seen in the outer regions, but the accompanying gleaming bright celestial bodies still seem as spherically symmetric condensations. The Andromeda Galaxy's individual stars can also be seen. The existence of a supermassive black hole at the center of practically every galaxy is currently thought to be a given. And our neighbor in space is no exception. With a mass of around 100 million solar masses, the gravitational monster there is far more intimidating than our star Sagittarius. However, Andromeda's halo, a nearly spherical region with a diameter of more than a million light years in which the star cluster is embedded, also makes an impression with its size. Our neighbor to the north is the largest member of the local group in this regard. This galaxy cluster also includes our own Milky Way, which, together with the Andromeda Galaxy, is its most massive component. Speaking of mass, the Andromeda Galaxy's total mass is currently believed to be between 0 and 2.5 trillion sun masses, with stars again making up 100 billion solar masses of that total. The Milky Way's mass is calculated to be approximately 1.5 trillion solar masses. Even though Andromeda has long been studied, it wasn't until the late 19th century that astronomers were able to recognize it as a spiral formation. You will still hear references to the Andromeda Nebula today since, in earlier telescopes, the object largely appeared as a diffused nebula structure. Our understanding of the universe as a whole would reach an entirely new level with further research. Astronomers eventually understood that these spiral-shaped formations are actually other galaxies that are located outside the Milky Way. Even though it is now obvious that there are other galaxies in the cosmos besides our own Milky Way, this knowledge was a revolution in astronomy at the time. The Milky Way and Andromeda are currently en route to a collision that will create a new star system. Collision of the Galaxies there is no longer any question that the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will collide at some point, even if we cannot see it. Currently, the two entities are pursuing one another at a pace of around 70 miles per second. A galactic collision will therefore unavoidably occur in the future. But is this impending crash also a big catastrophe? Will the individual celestial bodies of the two galaxies collide and cause a dangerous domino effect? Even though none of us will be present for this event, the professionals can thankfully offer the all clear in this regard. In reality, the frequently mentioned Andromeda Milky Way merger is a collision. 
in allusion to the English term Milky Way and the final portion of Andromeda, a new elliptical galaxy will emerge from the preceding spiral galaxies. Some scientists have given this newly developing star planet the name Milkamoda. Only in the rarest of circumstances could one expect to see stars collide as the galaxy merges. The gaps between the celestial bodies are too huge. This holds true for both galaxies' densely populated regions. The original spiral superstructures that currently characterize both entities will only be lost in the galactic merger. But when should we anticipate this event?